Hey, what's up, guys? So, yeah, this is going to be part 8 of uh, how to rebuild and port a rotary engine. So, I'm just about to uh, get working on my uh, freaking front iron there, start the secondary ports and all that. Yeah, the primaries turned out pretty good. Like, I'm really happy with how they came out there. You can see, like, it's not a smooth finish, but, like, it's kind of rough, but it's, it's like, actually smooth, like, flow and all that. So, anyways. Hopefully the other ones turn out that good. So the first one I'm going to work on here is this uh, secondary freaking port on the front iron there. So I'll just uh, get the freaking die on there, let it dry, and then I'll get the new line scribed in and get working on this one. Yeah, so I just got the die on there. It's all dry and uh, got the template on. But you can see these ones aren't as much grinding as the other ones, so it won't, it'll go a lot quicker and all that. So they're open up a lot inside there. So anyways, I'm just about to use my apex steel here just to uh, scribe in a new line. Alright, so I've just been working away at grinding away like at the bottom there and then uh, at the top. So it's almost at the line there at the bottom. I'll try to get it in the light so you can see it, but well, maybe if I hit my light here. Yeah, you can see the line down there. It's getting pretty close. Still like about a hair all the way around it. So. Just gonna keep working around the edges there and then I uh, can start working down in the bowl. So you can see how the bottom is getting pretty close there, so I still gotta like even it out inside, like because I've just been kind of going down at an angle, like I said earlier. But uh, you can see like it's getting pretty close to the line, like at the top, just a bit right there. But uh, anyways, like this corner is starting to get good, but I'm gonna have to redo the line because you can see like right there, like some of the dies chipped off there and the lines are a little bit rough so I'm gonna like put on a, a cleaner line there just so I can get it right to the edge but you can see like inside the bowls there they're starting to get shaped and all that like <clears throat> these ones are like huge already so it's gonna go pretty quick alright so I ended up uh, just going home that day so I'm just gonna pick up where I left off so you can see like I resprayed it with the toolmakers dye and all that and uh, described in the new line so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, work around the edge get the timing marks all to the like final spot there and then start working on the bowl here so just have my tape back on there and uh, get grinding alright so I've just been working away at this port here so you can see like inside the bowl is all like uh, ground down there so it's starting to get done but uh, right in here just hit my light yeah you can see like this edge I'm starting to bring it down so I can uh, just kind of like even it out and have like a smooth transition like down to the bottom of the port so it's not just like a quick little drop and all that but anyways you can see at the top like it's getting pretty close too so like I've just been working like in the actual runners and stuff right now so just keep working away at that but I got like this over here I don't think I showed you guys this yet but like this is the intake manifold that came off the car and uh, this is the one from like my parts car there I've been just like working away at it like it looks kind of crappy right now, but like I freaking I've been just like sanding it down and polishing it just so it's like gonna be a gloss finish. Like it's pretty smooth now, but like freaking uh, I don't know. I need to find my like metal polish there so I can buff it all up and make it look all pretty. But you can see like around the edges, I still have like a bit more around there. But I was wondering like if you guys want to see me do like the bottom part here because you can see it's still not done. Like could finish this off and like just kind of give you guys like an idea like how to uh, polish up metal like because you can see like on this one it's pretty rough finish then you get over here and it's like nice smooth one there but yeah so just let me know like if you guys are interested in seeing how that's done and everything so I'll just leave a comment or whatever in the bottom there and I can add it in my next video there but one more thing to check out too check this plate out like came with my parts car but uh like the guy gave me the plate section of the ownership there, so I just have it stuck on over top of my other one. But the guy gave me the plate section so I could get those transferred over to my name, so it's pretty sweet. Yeah, just because I get bored easy and I like to kind of do two things at once and switch back and forth, I'm just going to get to uh, like the lines and stuff started on this and maybe like do a little bit of the grinding just to like show you guys that. But uh, it's going to be mostly the next video, so. Yeah, I'll spray like the toolmaker's die on there and I'll get the little jig for the the template there so I can uh, scribe the lines in and I'll show you how that thing works. So this is like the template for the exhaust port there. So you can see this is like the pineapple racing like EP2A but it's kind of smaller than like the other one I had. So 
I'm just gonna put this in just so it, like keeps like good torque and uh, fuel efficiency and all that, but still it can make like decent power. Yeah, when you get it, you get like that uh, little template, and then this uh, little jig here it comes like flat. It's all like uh, laser cut, so you just bend it to shape there and uh, put it on the back of the housing there. And there's that little hole there. You slide the dowel pin through just to keep it all lined up. And then you can see like here, there's the little uh, little notch there, so. You just put that like on there and line it up with the little notches on there and uh, kind of push it flat against there so it like follows the contour of the housing there and freaking toss it on so just waiting for that dye to uh, dry right there yeah and I'll scrub the lines in and I'll like go over like the size difference and like uh, what you have to look for when you start porting yeah so this one's coming along like really good so it's uh, not too bad like I have inside you can see here on the runners I've been just uh, working away at this you can see like right here there's still that little bit of a ledge where I have to bring like this whole area down here like just so it's even with the bottom of the, like the new timing line for the port so you can see like it's still kind of sloped up but uh, like around the edges like there's still a bit at the top too but this part on like the side here is getting pretty close so like Pretty much just concentrating on getting like the inside of the bowl there, just all shaped to the edges, and then I'll bring it all out to the edge once it's all like uh, it's where I pretty much want it. So, anyways, yeah, I'll just keep doing that. No, uh, I have this here. That dye should be dry now, so I'll freaking scrub in the lines on that. And see how that turns out. So you can see like I got the jig uh, set up right here. So I'm just about to like put this on. You can see like how it like kind of follows the shape of the. Freaking rotor housing there, but anyways, I can't do this uh, one-handed, so I'll scribe on the lines and then I'll show you the difference in the port. All right, it's kind of rough, but you can see like the line around the edges there. So you see that like it's about like two millimeter uh, little taper that it has around the edges. Like you have to recreate that like when you finish your ports there. So you're pretty much just like taking the opening to the edges of, the, of those lines, and then you uh, put like that little two millimeter taper all around the edge just so it's like easier on the apex seals and everything so you can't have like a sharp edge like pretty much the same thing for like with the intake ports and all that so you can see like down here like you can actually tell like in the back just spin around so you guys see. yeah you can see like there's not a lot of meat at the bottom there from uh, where the exhaust like insert is so like pretty much like for those ones like what I did with my last one like Pretty much just like bring her down like pretty close to that, but uh, like I still leave it so there's the overlap from the uh, insert there. But I just bring it down on the taper to the edges of the port there, so like kind of just angle it off. So like the port's still opening and everything, but uh, like in the for the exhaust ports, like you want them pretty much as smooth as you can get them. So you can see like there's that carbon build up, but like if you can get it like a high polish. Uh, finish there then it'll just like slide on out and like we won't have as much problems with that and like it's better for the turbo and all that so that's always good yeah anyways I'll get working back on that uh, secondary intake port I was working on and uh, this was pretty much just like a teaser for the next video to see what I'm gonna be doing bottom pretty much uh, all finished off like it's down like even with the bottom of the runner there so it's not too bad it's kind of shows it up but better there but uh Anyways, like there's still a little ledge around the top there, so you can see like this bottom corner. Yeah, here you can see it better now with this light, but uh, anyways, I'm going to grind down that top ledge. I pretty much have to do the same thing as uh, bring down like that top wall there, just even with the runners. So I'll just keep working on that, and then uh, I can pretty much just finish off the runners, and then just start smoothing everything out. Yeah, so I got the timing lines all pretty much uh, ground in blended pretty good so I'll hit my light and see how it shows up but uh anyways uh, you can see like just around there so it's pretty much like just have a little bit of blending and then uh, I'm gonna hit it with the sanding wheels and uh get it all smooth and uh this one's pretty much done so like at the beginning of the next video I'll just show you what it looks like once it's all finished and all polished up like this one over here I'm just gonna uh, do like on my own time just get it freaking done and then I'll start on my freaking rotor housing I have here got the marks all put in there you guys seen that before so anyways uh, this is probably gonna be about it for part 8 of uh, how to rebuild and port a rotary engine